Yo, what is going on everyone in the XRP community? Hope you guys are having yourselves a fantastic day today as usual. Uh, XRP is up and leading the charge while everything is down today. Now what's funny is now everything's starting to go green, right? But I'll tell you what, when I was still sleeping about 30 minutes ago and I checked my phone, XRP was the only one in the green and all of these were red. I promise you. Because see how these are only like, you know, barely in the green. 0 0.3, 0 0.8, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.05. I promise you, dude. About 30 minutes ago, it was XRP was the only coin moving. And, you know, the prices are currently about like, you know, here and everything else was red so now xrp is kind of leading the charge with the market because i promise you nothing was going up today until xrp started moving up like look at the top 10 cryptocurrencies xrp is the only one moving this is not bitcoin season this is not altcoin season this is xrp season okay so yesterday's video we talked we talked about in the four hour chart how we had this little uh you know little support battle going on here which actually failed that's the thing man Yesterday, I talked about this support zone and that I thought it was, you know, going to be a valid demand zone because, look, it comes down really strong. But then the following three, four hour candles, super weak sell volume, another weak candle, you know, and then boom, we broke through. So last night when I saw that we were at 75 cents, I'm like, oh, shoot, we didn't hold that support zone. However, it still used an old swing high right here as a support. So yes, we did fail one support level, but it found another one and used that to bounce off. So currently, um, if we want to put out some Fibonacci's right here, a little bit Fib retracement, go from those recent swing low to the swing high, Fibonacci retracement perfectly bounced off of the 0.5. Okay, next thing. A little more on the micro charts, which we're going to be looking at later on a Cobcast stream. Uh, we got super, super strong uh, momentum here on XRP. This is a complete power move. Um, nice volume coming in. This is definitely a big boy move happening here. You had XRP crash from 80 cents down to like the mid 70 cent range. Chopped around for a little bit. Chopped around and just kind of stayed in its own little zone and didn't really go anywhere. So then, bam, went for the power move. Okay. And let's throw some fibs on this a little bit. Recent swing low to swing high. Ah, uh, not really seeing any relevance on the Fibonacci. Maybe we're not charting it out correctly. Maybe if we go like actual swing low to swing high, the fibs actually bouncing off of the two, three, six. So yeah, a little bit beginner in the Fibonacci retracements right now because I'm not like exactly sure where you're supposed to do it, but I'm like I know it's swing like absolute recent swing low to most recent swing high. So two, three, six bouncing off that level right now. So, uh, basically, uh, on the four-hour chart, we do have this gap that needs to be filled. You know, um, these, what, like, eight, nine, ten candles right here. Just straight, just going down, no real pullback. So, XRP is looking to fill the gap and get back to the resistance zone. Last time we got to this zone, man, that 89, 91 cent zone was a very tough level to break. But I am sure we are going to go back to it and go for the breakout. So yeah, 50 minute chart, um, got a little pullback that was necessary off the 236 Fibonacci and heading back to previous high and I think going for the break to fill the gap daily chart. Let's check this out. As you guys can see, you know, okay, when I was streaming and the XRP chart looked like this, like I said on stream, I'm like, look, a pullback's going to come, like a, a deep pullback's going to come. It has to happen. You can't have mega parabolic all-time high breaking bull runs without the pullbacks you have to have them that's why when they do happen i don't get upset because a pullback is the pump recharging its batteries to move further because nothing's going to go up in a straight line no, nothing's going to create just one gigantic gap it, you gotta pull back and recharge your batteries and i think i even actually did say like i think it might pull back to about 75 cents here which is exactly half of the pump, and then that's exactly where it finds liquidity, and now we are getting a bullish engulfing on the daily chart, which closes in three hours, 13 minutes. Now, the weekly chart, I was starting to get concerned because, um, what you call it, when the dump was right here, when the prices were, you know, right there, um, I looked at the weekly chart, and I got really concerned because... Our whole bullish confirmation candle was like depleted, man. This thing was down way low, right? 
with lots of top end wick but now we are building that back we have a day and four hours left until the weekly close and we are going to secure this double bottom this double bottom is really already secured with the bullish engulfing but we just want that strong bullish confirmation to really take us back to the dollar 53 cent zone okay so guys all good stuff uh yeah this gonna be the first video for today and i'm sure xrp throughout the rest of the day is going to be trying to move back up into the 90 cent zone it just seems you know reasonable since we have all this power coming in all right so i'm expecting another power move later on today and as we always like to say uh wait until asia wakes up so guys thank you for tuning the video today really do appreciate it xrp up 10 percent all other cryptocurrencies were down i promise you i promise you when i checked today xrp was up 10 percent every nothing else was green bro but now all of a sudden everything's going green and my proof for that yeah everything was red it's just notice how like how barely in the green these things are these things are like barely barely in the green because they were just really red recently and they just flipped to green xrp leading the charge guys i got some errands to run today gotta do some quick little stuff and then i will be getting a live stream going in about a few hours get the late night cobcast bull run stream and i'll see you guys in the next one and again do believe the weekly double bottom is going to save our portfolios trust me and look at that look at that weekly volume breakout you see um i wish there was like a volume with moving average there's got to be one right hang on guys hang on we gotta so this volume moving average ah oh, this is such a scuff chart dude anyways um i can't I, like it doesn't seem like i can actually pull up like a real moving average but you know we can kind of do it our own way so see how Weekly chart volume, like, you know, back towards the SEC dump and our 1,000% pump, you know, shit was getting, like, crazy up here, and then it finally settles down and kind of reaches this base, right? So, I mean, I can't even pull up, like, a moving average on the chart right now, but we kind of have this, like, relative base, you know what I mean? Like, got this kind of base level for the volume, and look, the weekly volume is breaking above that base because we got that double bottom bullish confirmation secured, okay? All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in the video today. I really appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next one.